High school has been a blast for me. Don't get me wrong, I've definitely had my fair shares of ups and downs, but overall, I've had a pretty good time. I guess I really like the adrenaline rush of completing a 12-page chemistry lab report the night before it's due, despite being generously given a month to complete it. <laughs> and also the challenge of convincing my English teacher to let me work on my calculus problem sets that are due the next period. <laughs> Statistically speaking, I'll live till about 90 years, you know, if all goes well. That means about a fifth of my life has already been complete, and high school has nearly been a quarter of that. If the next 80% of my existence is anything near as exciting and fun as the past four years, I'd be very excited and content. When reflecting over how I've been generally positive and happy through these um, past four years, when many of my peers have looked at high school in truly deprecating ways, I've come to the conclusion that has less to do with any innate DNA of happy-go-lucky genes, and more so to do with the truly amazing um, peers in my class. I'm proud to say that the friends that I've surrounded myself with here at Klein, a lot of them from Door Intermediate, go Warriors. <laughs> <laughs> but a few from some other places have really made me so grateful for the quality of my life. Here are some of the amazing things that the people I get to hang out with every day have done and are doing, in addition to being funny, and totally humble human beings. Three of them are extremely accomplished, nationally ranked members of the Klein speech and debate team. One has done work at the Council of American Islamic Relations in Houston to find new ways of forging congenial relationships with the general public. One is the UIL individual state champion for computer science and has maintained valuable backend servers for a DNA sequencing startup. One is an excellent orator, as um, notified by his um, re receiving recognition as the best delegate at multiple model UN conventions. Two of them have won a national research competition at MIT for their cool poster presentation elucidating new ways of using music algorithms to produce killer rap beats. <laughs> I'm not kidding. One has worked in a biomedical research lab in San Antonio for the past three years and has found insights into a copper metabolism disease called Menkes. One has been interning at HP for the past two years, somehow able to balance a rock star software development gig with that of a dedicated student. One has co-written international relations papers with a, a professor at Rice University. One has found new ways of using crystalline diamond to create more sturdy industrial materials at the University of California and the University of Texas, in addition to being a thoughtful short story essayist. One not only plays um, violin at an elite level, but has actually led the Klein Chamber Orchestra as the lead concert pianist. In large part, Klein's first ever recognition as the best orchestra in the state is due to this musician's Mozart-like talents. One has found time not only to be the president of HOSA, the largest student organization at Klein, not to mention the most successful HOSA chapter in the nation, but also a member of the student council, and he has attained the prestigious recognition of being named an Eagle Scout. One is a five-star basketball recruit with a three-point shot that, oh, wait, somehow an item from my unfulfilled dreams list has found its way here. Oops. But yeah, <laughs> that's a list of achievements only from Klein High. Multiply that by four, and it's hard to imagine the true potential of, of the group of students in here. Just being able to speak about how awesome my friends and peers are is a great privilege. Without a doubt, a huge portion of their success is due to the tireless work of gracious teachers, administrators, and faculty members who created opportunities and a culture for students to not just passively participate in, but to have a tangible impact that puts a dent in the world. So the next time you're on your Facebook news feed or watching the evening news, and you see something along the, line, long, along the lines of five ways humanity is going to collapse by 2028, please remember the effort, dedication, and passion you spent in assisting the students to achieve goals way beyond what we'd have thought when we'd begun high school. It's easy these days to become very apprehensive about the future due to the way that the news and media network are structured and incentivized to ask, but I promise you, don't worry and don't stress out too much. We got this. <laughs> Thank you. Enjoy the rest of the evening. It's been my pleasure.